Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use the intent version of FSR for upscaler in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame generation in Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 with XCSS frame gen, XCSS low latency mode will work and with FSR frame gen anti-lag 2 will work I will test the game on my ROG ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU which is based on RDNA 3 architecture in my older guides I used Nukem 9's FSR frame generation mod it used to produce some ghosting around a character model we were required to use another mod which fixed that ghosting effect but OptiScale FSR frame generation does not produce this ghosting the game uses easy anti-cheat need to disable it not use OptiScale mod so you won't be able to play the game in online co-op mode I'll be using the latest version 0.9 preview for 20250922 build of OptiScale mod available on their discord server we'll give the link to their discord in the description of the video just click on the dot .cmz link here FSR SDK was leaked a couple of months ago it included files corresponding to the intake version of FSR 4 these files could be used to compile an FSR 4 DLL big thanks to reddit user actually dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community just click on the go file link here from this page you need to download AMD Fidelity FX upscaler tx12.tll file click on download next to it show you the mod setup process open the mods archive file and just select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini optiscaler.tll leave xcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame gen file dxlan version of xcss super resolution not required xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulcan leave xcll.tll xcss low latency mode file fake nvapi.tll fake nvapi.ini Fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with either XCSS low latency mode or anti-lag 2 depending on the frame generation technique that you are using. Nukem 9 mod not required, Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files, right click copy. Select the game in your Steam library, right click manage, click on browse local files. Open client underscore PC folder, root folder, bin folder. PC folder, paste everything here replace now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll select the file right click rename type dxgi now I'll be installing the intake version of FSA4 upscaler just copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler txtrail.tll file that you download it from reddit need to paste it in the games install directory where you install optiscaler mod client pc folder root folder bin folder pc folder right here replace the existing file place upscaler installed now i'll show you how to disable the game's ese implementation just copy these lines, I'll provide these lines in the description of this video copy go to the games install directory where you install optiscaler mod client pc folder, root folder, bin folder pc folder in this directory create a new text file name it as run game change the extension from .txt to .pat hit enter if extension is not shown on your PC, click on view, show, check the setting, file name, extensions, select the file, right click, edit in notepad, paste the lines here, click on file, click on save, close. Now whenever you want to play the game, just run this .pat file, do not launch the game via Steam store, otherwise games EAC implementation will get activated it will prevent the game from starting enter lens settings for the game freezing freezing on i have set the umi buffer size to 5 gb my ally is running on bios version 3.4.2 install ally's latest official gpu driver that i had support for battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile all three power values set at 27 watts cpu boost it is disabled 900p resolution i take my fly dg beta 4 pro controller to ally via bluetooth mode I'll start the game and just execute rungame.pat file upon game launch you will see this prompt game files modified mods detected mentioned in the top right corner 
this means ESC is not working in game video settings GPU RTX 4090 as we are using the TXJ spoofing feature of OptiScaler display mode set to borderless required for using XCFG upscaler DLSS 900p using beg your pardon, 900p resolution using upscaler's balance preset sharpness level set to 0.7 frame generation disabled for the time being the game officially supports FSR 3.1 frame gen Desync gets off motion blur make sure it's disabled no FPS cap applied using the game's medium graphics preset physics quality and background swarm size set to default cloth simulation medium jump into the game once the game loads up just press the insert keyboard key to open optiscular menu I'll increase the menu size click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale and set the value to 1.2 upscaler selected xcss version 2.0.2 here we are getting around 40 fps input in game dlss upscaler thj spoofing feature on auto explore setting on frame generation disabled for the time being i'll just change the upscaler to fsr4 click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler again Upscaler selected, intake version of FSR 4 Model setting set to default, it automatically selected model 2 for me which corresponds to the in-game upscaler's balance preset which is correct Base resolution 940 by 528 pixels upscale to 900p resolution Here we drop to around 40 Roughly the same performance that we were getting using XSS upscaler I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section check this setting FPS overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 save INI close to show you the base game performance playing as Lieutenant Titus my companions controlled by AI I'm just engaging combat Worm ends surrounded by them. Use my flamethrower. It's a very demanding sequence. Yeah, FPS is within a range of 35 to 45. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck. Look at the image quality, it's looking so clean, so sharp. And no ghosting is produced around the character model. You can improve the performance by dropping the resolution to 720p. The animation quality here is looking a bit choppy as expected we are outside ls vrr range that is 48 to 120 hertz ok now i'll show you how to enable fsr frame generation scaling cost is around 5 milliseconds open optiscaler menu click on the drop down bar next to fg source and select tlss g via streamline as the option the game supports DLSS frame generation and streamline version 2.7 so this option will work just fine we won't be required to deal with hotfix click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option click on save INI close and restart the game launch the game again by executing run game.pat file in the games installed directory after restarting the game you need to enable the in-game frame generation setting apply do not use afterburner or RTSS when using OptiScaler frame generation in this game otherwise the game will crash simply use adrenaline's performance overlay once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu check the setting active under frame generation FSR FG allow async setting on ok I'll show you FSR frame gen debug view current streamline FG state on yeah no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image games hard elements won't flicker with fsr frame gen on the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of fsr frame gen will work properly displays are working properly for all of the images disable debug view i'll also enable anti lag tools latency monitor press its hotkey combo alt shift nl keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options real time latency value here yeah, fps increased to around 60 
60 to 65 this is the smoothing effect not bad animation quality is looking much smoother than before latency value is around 52 milliseconds variable depends on the FPS cross sets not flickering the game third elements yeah they are not flickering no ghosting is produced around the character model definitely use FSR frame generation in this game if you use Nikonize mod FSR frame generation you will observe some ghosting around the character model another mod is required to fix that ghosting effect now I will show you how to use XCSS frame gen just open OptiScaler mod menu make sure you using the same FG source TLSS GY streamline click on the drop down bar next to XCFG click you find click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option disable FSR frame generation allow async setting just click on save INI close and restart the game again make sure after burner and RTSS are not running in the background execute run game dot pad file make sure that end game frame generation setting is enabled upscale is set to TLSS we are in open up the scale menu check the setting active under frame generation XCFG frame time graph it will become thick like this this means XCSS frame gen is working check the debug view you will see these purple sidebars flickering if XCSS frame gen is not working the sidebars won't appear at all disable the debug view current method mentioned is XCLL under frame rate section save and I close FPS is close to 60 can observe the add amount of smoothness this is the real world input delay I'll be honest I was expecting the latency to be much worse than this XSS frame gen's latency is slightly better than that of FSR frame gen base FPS is around 35 here drop down show some combat now using my flamethrower with FSR frame generation we were getting an FPS within a range of 60 to 65 I'm getting 65 here slightly better performance with FSR frame gen both frame generation techniques are usable in this game completely up to you which technique you want to use no ghosting is produced around the character model animation quality is looking amazing smooth very consistent use my ability smoothing effect is still working in some games the vignette effect disables the smoothing effect of FSR or XSS frame gen does not happen in this game that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day